Midwest Fur Fest, the biggest con every year that takes place in Chicago at the end of the year in early December. Was this con the best con I've been to so far? Probably, honestly. It was, it was a really, really fucking great con. A lot to do. It, it was basically the, the Smash Bros. Ultimate reveal trailer of like, everyone's here! And it's like, oh god, I'm seeing so many people from like three years ago and, and people that I saw literally like yesterday. But I got a lot to talk about and a lot to show you guys what I did at MFF. Let's start this from the very beginning. This is the sort of uh, recap of Midwest Fur Fest for me. I've got over 600 pictures to show you guys. I have multiple stories. So without further ado, my Midwest Fur Fest experience. I don't know what the video is going to be called. This is high YouTube, by the way. We'll, we'll figure that out later. We've got over 600 photos. It's going to take a while, but here we go. Starts off with my suitcase. I totally picked this thing up like two days before I left for the con. And, and this was me packing, by the way. So you remember I ended my stream, then... I was like, okay, I'm gonna start packing. This is two hours into me packing, not actually packing. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to make my suitcase identifiable, but I didn't have like a suitcase tag at the time. And I completely forgot that you can pick like a paper one up at the airport for like free. Uh, so I just started labeling my uh, suitcase and stickers, which I was going to do regardless, but a uh, new hard shell case. Started filling mine up with stickers. So I've got all of them here. You got like MOSFET, you got Adler, you got all the gasms. Exactly. Very good timing on that sound alert. And then he got like Russ and Moose and Biff. It's just, it's beautiful. I've got a lot more to add to this, but this is the suitcase so far. Hopefully uh, I can fill it up entirely. Just friends, if you have any stickers, feel free to hand them out to me. But this was the day before the con. This is like 24 hours, the final day or something like that. This is not of the con, but this is a funny meme that I saw relating to Dark Souls. Take that as you will. And there's Maverick. There's the wagon. Ready for his very... Ready for his very first Midwest Fur Fest. This isn't at the con either, but I wanted to take this picture as sort of like a standpoint of like, you know what? This fucker doesn't even know what he's in for. His very first Midwest Fur Fest. His very first MFF. Never been to it. It's been like two years and he's never been to a con of this size or this scale or this socializing. And look at that face. How can you say no to it that? He probably wants food right now. I haven't fed him in a few weeks, but hey, you know, that's how it be. But either way, and there's my suitcase from the top at the airport. And I'm wearing sweatpants. Got double, double Margaret Thatcher's and Russ going, oh no. Very excited. Oh yeah! Um, I ran out of tissues when I was waiting at the airport at my terminal. That's how much one of these was at one of those little convenience stores. I needed like a little pack of tissues. Airports are a scam. Airport! Here's outside the airport in Chicago. But here's the thing. The owner of my room for MFF, Draxler, wasn't there at the time, so we didn't have our room. I was there a bit earlier. And I just wanted to get there to see my friends, like Keed and Nexka. I wanted to meet Nexka, who's adorable as fuck, who was also rooming with, so he was stranded too. I didn't know where the fuck to go. So I was waiting out here in this fuck with all these people for like 30 minutes, and then eventually, a shuttle comes by to go to, what is it, the Hyatt, the main hotel. I wasn't even at the main hotel. Wish I was, but uh, I just said, you know what, fuck this, I'm going. And he's like, yeah, you staying at the Hyatt? I'm like, yeah, yeah. So I, I snuck my way on the shuttle and left my other friends who were waiting there with me. I'm like, okay, bye guys. <laughs> So Thursday afternoon-ish, I was on my way to the hotel already. And here are some very blurry pictures because looking through the window of a shuttle isn't exactly the best way to get your camera quality up. Oh, and then this was the Hyatt right on the left. You take a left here, you go across the street, and then you go to the main hotel here. But continuing on. So I've never had this thing called Portillo's. I've never had Portillo's in my life. So we're close to Massachusetts. So I was in Chicago and I got there. I, I walked through the door. I'm like, Keat, where the fuck are you? Because he's calling me. He's like, Nexka wants to meet you. I'm like, I know. I want to meet Nexka. And, and then they're all together upstairs. I go and say hi to him. I'm exhausted. They go eventually downstairs. There's this usual spot that we attend uh, that's in the bottom left-hand corner, the back left corner where the tables are, where we'd always sit and chill. And they're like, we're ordering Portillo's. Would you like some? I'm like, who the fuck is Portillo? Is it a fursuiter that I should Meat? And they're like, no, they've got hot dogs, head ass. And I'm like, oh, okay, what's good on here? And they hand me the phone. I'm like, I can't even function right now. Dun, 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 this, and then I order it. Apparently, I had gotten 
a Chicago style hot dog, which had a giant pickle on it, peppers, and relish that looks so fake I can't even tell you. This green shit right here, that's the relish. I don't know about you, but relish for me shouldn't ever be that vibrantly green. But I ate it. I indeed ate it. I ate it so hard that I deep throated all the way up to here. There's a video of me doing that, but I'm saving that for the con vlog. And you know what? That hot dog was so fucking good. I deep throated it for absolutely no reason, but it was good. This was later at night. What the fuck happened between between then and then. What happened? Cause like, I had the hot dog, and then we got to the hotel, and then it was night. What the fuck happened after the hot dog? I can't even, like, whoa, I don't even know what happened. What the fuck happened? Where'd this time go? Like, even before that, this was like, middle of the day. Like, just turned afternoon, just turned noon. And then the next picture is fucking the evening. What the fuck happened between this time? I can't even remember. Also, this is, uh, this is the view that we had outside our hotel room. We were in the embassy suites, if you didn't know. Again, we were on 521. We were on one floor off of where we should have really been, which is a very big disappointment. But we were room 521 in the embassy suites, and this was the view we had. I'd say that was a pretty good view, right outside the front of the convention space with all the Christmas lights and uh, all that. I think it was pretty good. I think after we got to the hotel room, we took like a bit of a nap and chilled, and then we're like, and hey, let's go. Where? I don't know. And that's where we went. Oh yeah, we did go to the convention space. Right, we went to register. That's where the gap in pictures is due to Thursday. My heater is making noise right now. It's very weird, but we're gonna talk over it and hope to God that you guys can't hear it. The reason why there's gonna be a lack of pictures in this is because I live streamed LineCon. The line for registration was only an hour and a half. The full thing, you got out with the registration and you were all good. It was really straightforward. It's very easy, not bad. Let's see, we keep going. Evan. Okay, we were in line. And I think I was just chatting with some friends or saying hi, but I want to at least let you know that half the pictures in this catalog from MFF from the past three days is pretty much only Evan. And Evan, God, I can't even explain to you what it was like to experience Evan. Evan at MFF. It's one of those things where no matter how I describe it, you have to experience him for yourself. And it's not to say he was bad, not by any means. He's, in my opinion, the best human being on this planet. And I don't think I could find anyone else that could live up to what he has to offer as a person. But I don't even know why I took this picture. I think I was just taking pictures of Evan's face while I was uh, recording something for a vlog. And then that's when I decided after this to live stream it. So go and watch the VOD for LineCon. If you were there, you were there. But worst case, it'll be up on YouTube. That do be dude I don't know what they're doing, but Evan... <laughs> Evan looks like he's lost. And dude, it looks like he's helping him. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. Dude had joined us as well. So we had a little bit of a group with us while we were in LineCon. So it wasn't really all that lonely. We had a bunch of friends so we could talk and hang out. It was nice. And Evan was there. And dude was there. Meow. And they were fighting each other, I guess. Oh, no. They were doing the Macarena. <laughs> That's pretty good. And there's a close-up of Evan. Why was he so sweaty? I don't know. It was very hot in that convention space, but there was Evan. And this is where we find ourselves with our MFF registration badge. Yes, I'm the life jacket guy. Friday morning at the con, the first official day for MFF. We're finally there, like an hour and a half into the stream. This is great. This was post shower, and I just took a picture, and there's an ex guy in the back, and we're all getting ready to go to the con. What comes next? Draxler. Just Draxler. I don't even know what's happening here, but it's happening with Duded. And there's Whiskey! Okay, so I went to get coffee and Whiskey was like, Hey, I want to hang out with you. I want to vibe with you. Let's get some food. I'm like, okay! And, uh, I eventually found Whiskey, who had his head on, who was just already full sending it at the con, doing the thing, meeting the people. And so I met him for the first time. I promise you, I didn't meet him for the first time drunk as fuck at, at, uh, at BLFC 2019. We just don't remember that because he doesn't remember that first experience, so we'll take it. I fucking love him to death. He is a sweetheart. But uh, we went around the con. I got some nice uh, B-roll pictures and photos and whatnot around the con. There's Pineapple. I haven't seen him in a goddamn few months. Months, even though I live like an hour away from him, but I saw him at the con and I said hi to him and took some pictures of him because he's a good bean. There's his thighs. There's some good thighs. There's him yet again. And look at all these fursuiters. See, this was like the main spot where all these fursuiters 
met is pretty great. It was just a, a bunch of fucking people on the second floor of the Hyatt, just all together. It was, it was one big happy family, even though probably a lot of them did not like me. And there's MozFet! Finally ran into him. Last time I saw him was like Anthrocon 2019 or like Fernal Equinox. God damn. But like two years later and he's still kicking! He's still kicking! And I said hi to him. And then he stole my phone, but that's for the con footage thing. But I got to see that good bean. He had his tail, he was going around. God, I love him. And then Nova showed up! So I didn't see Kyle and Kiwi and Nova before today. But they showed up and I got to see him and I gave them a hug. And Nova's con badge was, I made egg! Oh, Drew Jr., I made egg! <laughs> I gotta show you guys some point. The video that that's from, it's amazing. But they made that their con badge. There's me and Wizzy. I met fucking Wizzy for the first time. He was at my apartment like a few months ago and I didn't even meet him then because it was during Denver. But uh, I met Wizzy here for the first time. Wizzy's great. I love him so, so much. He is such, such a character. He's such a, such a kind, kind dude. Such a sweetheart. Wish I could spend more time and hang out with him. But for what it was worth, God, he was, he was amazing. He is, he is literally the best. But, uh, yeah, I was just chilling on the side because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. So I sat down with a bunch of my friends on the side and just chilled because I was already tired and it was only Friday evening. Oh, yeah, and then Arvin. So I didn't know who this Aussie chef was a few times until I, like, checked him out on Twitter. It was Arvin. And I saw him passing by going somewhere. And so I stopped and I'm like, Arvin! And then I said hi to him. And I'm like, oh my god, we're in the floppy eared Aussie ship gang. And he was like, yeah, I'm so happy that you're an Aussie ship. I'm like, before you go, because I know you're hot and you probably want a suit, can I get a picture with you? He's like, yeah. And I got a very, very cute set of pictures with him. And they're so goddamn cute. What a sweetheart. What a good bean. He's so goddamn cute. I love him. Look at, look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. Putting up his hand like, no, don't mind. And it's just, oh, I love, I love him. But don't know if you've been paying attention to Evan in the back. And if you haven't been, you should fix that. Yeah, Evan was in the back and eventually made some pose that I couldn't find. But uh, this was one of the still frames. Oh yeah, and then uh, we were going back to the con space to hang out with people. And I just so it happened to uh, have walked by the Morpheless photo shoot in progress. And I was like, oh, that's awkward. But yeah, cute Morpheless suitors all together doing stuff. <gasps> This was Sunny, a Banui named Sunui, a bunny named Sunny. They were just vibing about looking at, looking in fursuit. They were about to pass out, I think, or something with fursuiting. But yeah, I wanted to take pics of them, and so I did that, and... Uh, Wow, they were full on posing, even though they probably shouldn't have been. They should have probably been resting, but still. There's a fursuit in Among Us costume. Don't know why that happened, but that was sussy. Oh, right. We were looking for the maid raid at this point. So apparently, from what our friends through the grapevine, we heard about some sort of maid raid where a bunch of fursuiters got together in maid outfits to raid the main hotel convention space at some point at some time in that evening. And I wanted to catch it. I really, really wanted to catch it. I was on the lookout for it. Couldn't find it. I thought I missed it. But then I checked the fishbowl and there they were all getting ready for the big group picture. And it was adorable. Look at all of them. Look at all of them in the shitty phone quality that I have. Look at all the fucking noise in this picture. I love it. And there's Phrase. My friend Phrase, who was in the photo shoot as well, came up to say hi to me. And there are their beans. They were doing what they do, bapping me in the face. I will admit her, her, her kimono suit is very, very cute. It's very, very cute. Cute outfit and cute character entirely. I love it. And oh yeah, I found Russ with some other fursuiter. Can't remember their name, but their suit is... <sighs> yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good it's a good fursuit. Personally, Russ is like a fursuit crush of mine. I fucking love their suit so goddamn much. They're so adorable. They're so fluffy. And I saw them and they wanted me to take some pictures of them. So I got some pictures with them and the other fursuiters. I don't know who the one on the left is. I know Polo is the one on the one on the right. I crush on him too. He's adorable as fuck. But uh yeah, I got some really low quality pictures for Russ. The quality did not get better even though I stopped recording, but they were okay pictures at best. Oh yeah. <laughs> this was the first ambulance of MFF 2021. Woo!
I was with Russ and we were going around and I wanted to get some pictures of him. And uh, there he was looking outside and I got a picture of him looking at the ambulances of pulling up at the Hyatt. And there's Russ and Evan. Oh yeah, we met up to play One Night Werewolf in the game room downstairs. We went to play One Night Werewolf for a good few times before we went to bed. And One Night Werewolf was fun. He was so goddamn fun. So much fun to be had. So much goddamn fun to be had. Oh. <laughs> This was a really interesting cosplay to see around. So someone dressed up as a stormtrooper was like, y'all are some weird Wookiees. This, this was an iconic cosplay for MFF this year. Either way, um, this was officially Saturday morning. We've made it now to the weekend of the furry convention. There was a fursuiter giving out Dunkin' Donuts donuts. Thank God they didn't have any coffee on them because Dunkin' Donuts coffee is dog shit. But yeah, this fursuiter was giving out donuts and I wanted to really just give them a big hug and say hi to them, but they had donuts on them, so I didn't. So I took a picture of them and they were cute. And there's Talson. I fucking love Talson. And this was when I was getting into fursuit. But first, I put Nexka in my Kigu and look at this precious bean. He's so goddamn precious. I swear to God. So precious. Yeah. He looks so cute and happy and fluffy in my Kigu. Look at him. And there I am at the con. At this point, I decided to suit up for the first time. After getting lunch with friends, I'd meet up with other friends in the Hilton. Then we'd go to the main hotel and I'd first suit around for the first time as Maverick at MFF. Not first time first suiting as Maverick, but y y you know, but just first suiting at MFF for the first time. You get the idea. Here's some cute, adorable pics of him in his life jacket. That looks really comfy. And there's Nova just vibing. I respect that. And there I am, somewhat trapped in a corner saying hi to all my friends. There's Eigen giving me a big goddamn hug. There I am giving him a big goddamn hug. Very cute fursuit pictures. This is just gonna be a nice long compilation of all the fursuit pics that uh, Nexka took for me while I was in suit which Nexco was kind enough to film for me and take pics of me and handle for me all at the same time while I was uh, in a fursuit. There's me and Russ getting pics together because I love Russ. They're an absolute sweetheart. Wanted to give him a big life jacket hug. And then I said hi to Klee. So Klee Kai, the cute little short, small, little uh, lacy suitor, the curl. I fucking love him. I love him so goddamn much and I've only interacted with him like a handful of times at cons. So I'm like, you know what? Give me a big goddamn hug you. And I got some pictures with him. He is so adorable and he's such a dork. I swear to God. I gotta give him first few cuddles one of these days. He's like, he's like nice small size where I can just like pick him up and give him a big hug so i want to like give him cuddles one day hit me up Clee. just saying also yes guys this was the best that i had for a fursuit i don't have a bodysuit so it was in my uh what was it my kigu that i had most of the time so that was fun look at us they're so adorable oh i love it oh right <laughs> So a bunch of our friends were suiting off to the side. I was doing my own thing. So I eventually meet up with my friends after a bunch of people wanted pictures or wanted a hug from me. And this is, I guess, where Nexco went while I was, uh, while I was gone doing my thing. Yeah, I did as don't even know what's happening. I guess, I guess Wolf was picked up a bit and, uh, Keith was picking him up and Wolf just sort of titanic it. But yeah, this was a whole fursuiting session and pretty much the only session that I had of full suiting and fursuiting at the convention because I just, I'm not walking 20 minutes to go to a main space to fursuit when I'm already in fursuit. That's just counterintuitive. So I thought, you know what? Show up once and do your thing because you brought all this stuff. Why not make use of it? So this was me during my hour suiting session. Got to say hi to Nicolas Cage. I don't know his actual name, but I said hi to him and he's a good fennec. He's a good bean. And then there's me and Keith. Me giving Keith a big hug. I love it. Look at look at that fox. The cute foxo. Big life jacket hugs to the foxo. I love it. And us getting nice pics together. I think someone else got a pic of us together. I think that was Evan with the camera, but I don't have those pictures yet. I'm waiting on Nova to get them to me, but that's a later thing. But still, cute fox, cute lock. I think he suited for like seven hours total this con. I did it for like two, maybe three. And it's Boo! I got to get a picture with Boo or Ryder, who was, uh, Ryder was in Boo or Minty, the caribou, the Boo. It's Raibu. It is Raibu. But yeah, uh, Ryder was in Boo's suit and I wanted to get a picture with Raibu. Pretty cute. And there's me and Diffuse, me giving a big hug to Diffuse. I love it. Uh-oh, there's Sunny. Oh no, Sunny's up to something. Me and Diffuse getting another, and then Sunny coming up to me with a knife. A knife? I see that knife in your hand. You're trying to pop my life jacket. I swear to God. Bad Banui. Bad. Why do you have purse milk? What the fuck is purse milk? Diffuse, I'm less concerned about the knife. I'm concerned about the purse milk. 
What the fuck is purse milk? It's actually hurting me right now. I, I thought bagged milk was enough. Now we got purse milk. Pulls a knife on me. A, a, a fucking knife. And then they hug me. They put down the knife for a second. But me and the bun doing our thing. Getting some nice pics. You look tired. I'm sorry. What two cuties. I love it. And then Cinder. Oh my god. I got to see Cinder for the first time in suit. And I was so happy. They, were, they gave big hugs. They were very small. I gave them big hugs. They were such a sweetheart. I swear to god. And they were just like, oh my god. You have a life jacket. It's so cute. Cinder is small. And I I fucking love their suit. It's so goddamn cute. And I can't believe it's like a three-year-old suit too. Like this suit, I saw their post about it online. Like it's three years old and it looks fucking good. Like how they keep it that good looking, I don't, I will never understand, but it's, it's a good looking suit. But going forward, cute fursuit pictures with Cinder. I fucking adore this bean. Other cute fursuit photos going around. Got to see and meet Quent for the first time. I saw them in the corner and then I like pushed like two people out of the way just to give them a big hug. Oh my God. I'm so so glad I got to meet him. I just wanted to give him a big hug. That's pretty much it. And that's me meeting him for the first time. It's very sweet. And I got to see hi to Thomas, the, the pointy-eared horned bean who was in pirate attire. Very cute. I love this. That this is this is good. I don't know how to pronounce his his name Doby or Doby. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. How do I pronounce your la the, the second part of your name? Thomas Doby? More emphasis on the doe? Doby, like the dog. Okay. That pirate outfit that he had going on. That that was 10 out of 10. And then I saw Dad. Okay. Dat, the husky, is a hardcore fursuit crush for me. Like, hardcore fursuit crush for me. I fucking adore him so much, and I wanted a very nice pick with him. And thank God Nexco was helping me with the picks, and I got to see him in suit and finally get a pick with him in suit. But me and Dat, oh my God, I love him so much. He is such a cutie. And we got a nice pick together. I think the lighting wasn't too bad on this. We just got to adjust it with uh, some sort of Photoshop app, and we'll be all good. But like, oh my God. I am so happy that I got a pick with him. He is so adorable. But yeah, we got some cute pics. Give him a nice wagon smooch like that. And then we hugged again. It's adorable. Also, I want one of those like VR chat things on your back. That looks really cute and really cool. And then I saw DS. I had no clue DS had a fursuit. Like when I went to visit my friends and I met DS for the first time and got to hang with him a bit, I dead ass thought he wasn't a furry. Like I thought he was like the most normal person I think I've ever met. Lo and behold, he's got a fursuit and a fucking hot one at that. Just wanted to throw that out there. But then we got a picture. I'm like, next, go snap the picture quick. Luckily, no one came by to interrupt. We just got a picture. And look at us together. This is this is cute. I liked it. That was an adorable pic. Also, digging the bandana. 10 out of 10. Just saying. This was later. But like, back to the fur suiting thing. So, so, so did it continue story time. Got the pic with DS. Then I de-suited. Then I met back up with Kyle and Nova and Kiwi. And then Whiskey joined along because we wanted to go to the food truck. The food truck that was outside the convention center at MFF. That that was the biggest lifesaver. The poutine was god tier. The hot dog was god tier. The hamburger sucked, which eh, eh, whatever. But like they came in clutch. That was the easily the cheapest, closest food you could get at that con. Going back to the con after that, I desuited, met up with friends, finally got a picture with whiskey. I had wanted a pick with that bean all con, and I'm like, hey, you're in suit. I want to pick with you. Let's make it fucking happen. And so we got picks together. Me trying to be cool, but also being nervous as fuck because I don't know how to be cool. I only know how to be absolutely chaotic and and uncanny and unpredictable. That's the that's the weirdest thing to be and the scariest thing to be is unpredictable but I decided to be it while whiskey is just being chill and cool as fuck i finally know how to look at the camera i don't know what i'm doing here and then i hit the fattest fucking dab of my life that is a deep deep dab i swear to god i almost broke my fucking ankles with that and then whiskey went to go and get some food he got cheese fries he ordered the food at the food truck and i got some pics of him because he wanted some pics i gotta send these to him but it's kind of really funny just seeing him go up and just full-on order the food but yeah this food truck 10 out of 10 and then i was going in for the big picture with all the twitch furries meeting up for like pizza and hanging out i was late so i there i am you can see the most blur in this picture because i saw diffuse taking the pic i'm like oh no i gotta get fucking in there so i start running and you could see how blurry and low quality this pic is because i'm just trying my absolute hardest to get over there but yeah this was a very very nice group picture that diffuse took of us it's somewhere online i haven't found it yet because i'm awful at finding pictures and that requires me to go through people's twitters and i haven't done that yet very wholesome like end to like a saturday evening at a con you know hanging out with friends being around so many people i 
I love all these people so fucking much, and I would die for all these people. They're so, so fucking good, so fucking genuine, and so fucking sweet. I can't even, like, I'm using fucking luck, but, like, I genuinely mean it. Like, they are so, they are some of the best people I've met in the whole goddamn world. And all of them were here. Like, that's just sort of, like, the best part about this. Like, when I got my poutine and sat down, all of my friends were here. All of them that I wanted to meet, all the ones that I wanted to hang out with were here. I think this was, hands down, like, one of the most memorable evenings for me at this con. I know the picture didn't really do it justice, but like, if you just sort of understand the emotion behind it, it's just like, yeah, I was really trying to be in there with everyone. Just like, what an evening. All these are so many fucking wonderful people. This was pretty much like the encapsulation of just how great the con was, especially that Saturday night, just being with so many friends, being with so many people, new people that I just met, and old friends that I've known for a while. It was so good to see again. Like, this is why this is one of my favorite pictures of the con even just so far just because like everyone's here and that's honestly all i could have asked for just being surrounded by so many great friends and there i am having a moment i don't know why i made that pose but you know i've just decided to full send the chaos kiwi and kyle just chilling eating poutine i love kiwi he has the best expressions ever but they were just in the corner eating poutine whatever the fuck this picture was that i was sent i'm gonna be honest i wouldn't have downloaded it if it wasn't sent to me what was happening actually wait it's sozen and tristan and jaw in one picture you know honestly i i don't even think i need context to know what was happening i think this is great as is this is mathematical perfection. Uh, got a picture of the cursed Santa over the the embassy suites. I know it's supposed to look happy and nice, but it, it looks it looks evil. Yeah, that is not a happy Santa. I don't know what they're going for with that Christmas pick, but that is not a happy Santa. And there's Moose. I know this isn't the best quality, but like this has some pretty good energy. I'm not gonna lie. Like seeing Moose in, in suit just like about to take on a fucking car is like bring it. Because you, if you know Moose, not Diffuse as in Diffuse Moose, but like Moose as in the animal, they will fuck you up. But yeah, this has that energy. Why did I get a picture of Moose's ass? <laughs> Why was I doing that? I don't know. It was that part of the evening into the edible, so don't you worry. I didn't mean it, I promise. I didn't mean it, I promise! <laughs> God damn it, no, it's not that! It's not what it looks like! All of what happened after this, uh, after this night, I just don't remember. To be honest, this is the best sequence of images I've ever found in my life. But hey, savor the good ship, the G ship, the good bean. I love this cheek dot so goddamn much. I did get a picture with him. Oh my God. I was so happy. He's so sweet. He gave good hugs. I'm so happy. And then I got a picture with Zilch. This was one of my old, old friends from like years ago who I hadn't seen in three years. Legit, when I saw him again, I started crying. <laughs> I gave him such a big hug and started crying. I was, I was a mess but in a good way. There we are the next morning as I take a picture of a wall with a stain on it. And there I am with my dumpy in the back going to get coffee. I don't know why I took this picture. Maybe I was still waking up, but hey, I needed coffee. There I am in the line for coffee. So that explains it. I was so out of it. Bit of, bit of context to Sunday. We were all so fucking tired and exhausted. Not that we did so much that we're so done, but a mix of that being just social exhaustion with the amount of friends that we saw, <laughs> amount of people we were meeting, and the amount of people saying hi and talking and all these people being around us for the past like three days. It was just, it was tiring. I think that's what Sunday ended up being, just chill day. And that's what I decided to do. I took it easy. I went to get a coffee by myself and had uh, just my own time to chill and relax and just do what I wanted with friends. So that's why I'm not sure what really happened on Sunday because I was just out of it all that day. It was still a good day because it was Fogo de Chao day with a bunch of my Sick. friends. Fogo de Chao day. I don't know what was happening here. Oh yeah, I got a picture with Frost Fox. I went around the con and got some pictures and chill with friends for a bit before Fogo de Chao. But after that, after we were done with that, we went out to the con space. I went to hang with friends and uh, this was us just going around, saying hi to peeps, getting pics. Hey, there's a pic with me and Cinder. I got a pic out of suit with him when I was uh, in my Levi Kigu, but I got a nice pic with Cinder. Good bean, what a good dog. Then I got a pic with Ford. I've never seen Ford in Furusun. It was really nice to see him in suit. He's adorable. I love him. Look at Ford. He's such a sweetheart. These pics are kind of cursed, but I love him. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. 
And then there's Doryu and Russ. Pix of them together. Blurry pictures because I'm awful at taking pictures. There's a pic of Whiskey. I think I wanted to pick with him, but I took a pic of him. I don't know what I was doing here. I don't remember much of this. Sunday was all a blur to me. All I remember is sitting down for a lot of meat and then a lot of meat sweats because all the fucking meat I was getting at Fogo. It was absurd. And here we are at Fogo de Chao. Finally, the big send-off to MFF with friends. Going to a very expensive expensive all-you-can-eat meat restaurant called Fogo de Chao, which is a Brazilian steakhouse. It was packed that evening. We had a party of like 17 plus people. We got some painting pics of everyone across. Nice Christmas tree. There's my first plate that I got. I didn't know what the strat was with going up to grab like your sides or whatever else. So I went up, ended up getting a little bit of everything, but a lot of the fucking, what is it? Prosciutto, cause cured Italian bacon. Oh, so good. But this is my first plate that I got. And then I didn't realize, oh shit, I don't have enough plate for my meats that they come by. Cause they'll come by with like different meats and they'll slice pieces off for you to eat. What I ended up getting was a little bit of everything. Cause underneath all that prosciutto, is a lot of like the small stuff, like the salads, artichoke, a full on fucking artichoke, asparagus, some like dill pickles, some smoked salmon. I did it light with the carbs and the stuff that would fill, fill you really fast because that's how they get you. They want you to fill up on carbs and whatever other stuff so that you don't have enough that you're eating during the main meal because that's how they save money or whatnot. Because they'll bring around all like the good stuff, like the fillets, the, the really good cuts of meat. I think they were bringing around like lamb or something. We missed the lamb, but oh well. But it was just, it was really good. Those ribs, so fucking good. Those are the best goddamn ribs I've ever had. There's Evan eating food. Evan just with a shit ton of chicken on his plate. Every single time they would come around, I swear to God, that guy with the, the bacon wrapped chicken came around like three times and every single time someone came around for food, everyone was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and would just eat it. <laughs> he would just take more of it. But here's the thing. Evan got through all of that food. Literally fucking all of that. I'm, I'm just shocked. He just kept eating. And we kept going and I'm just I'm just shocked Evan. What an experience. There's door you having a moment over that meat Oh my god. Oh wait. No, he's having a moment over his jalapeno and then there's the group pick Yeah group pick at Fogo everyone together. God. I love everyone. This was another one of my favorite picks to end the evening Oh, yeah, and then after that so after Fogo I decided you know what I've got energy in me Let's partial suit so to end off my night I decided to partial suit around the con with friends have a wonderful evening here me getting a picture with react there's kiwi in the back i don't remember any of these pictures because i didn't even look at them beforehand but this is cute even though it's low quality it's cute me and nova and kyle what great friends i love this picture of me and wizzy chilling i am so tired i i went to bed so fucking quickly after this picture i was so exhausted at this point like i just needed the sleep i couldn't like do it for much longer especially needing knowing i needed to pack in the morning so i went to bed and i think is that that's it right nope just me being glazed out of my mind again and that's it Wow. So that for me was my Midwest Fur Fest experience. So now you know, for those of you watching this here and on YouTube, you know that that con is jam packed with so much that you can do. And you should definitely go into it understanding that you're going to be like me and socially exhausted when it's all over. I was, I can't even tell you how just exhausted and socially tapped my battery was after that con. But you know what? It was all for the better. I got to experience wonderful times with friends and I wouldn't have, wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I don't even have PCD. I'm just kind of riding the high and looking forward to the next time I get to see friends again. But MFF, what a con.